I am Sandosh Gadankar. Today's concept is about the two harmonic motion as given below. From the derivation we know that x is nothing but x1 plus x2. And what is x? x is nothing but a sin omega t plus phi. These are fixed one. Okay, and just x value substitute here, x2 value substitute here and x value substitute here. a sin omega t plus phi which is nothing but 15 psi omega t plus 30 because it's already is converted into degree no need to multiply by pi pi by 18 to pi if it is radian you have to convert into degree next 8 cos omega t plus 60 degree now here we have to use the formula formula sine a plus b is nothing but what sin a cos b plus cos a sin b cos a plus b the formula will be cos a cos b minus sin a sin b we have to use this formula now in the equations here for this one now first one the formula use this formula a sin omega t plus cos phi plus a cos omega t sin phi is equal to 15 15 sin omega t plus cos 30 plus plus 15 cos omega t into sin 30 plus 8 cos omega t min sorry cos 60 <coughs> minus 8 sin omega t into sin 60 make the sign common here this is the correct mark use the cos from these two expression now I have to bring a cos outside a cos phi is nothing but sin omega t plus a sin phi cos omega t is equal to equal to 15 cos 15 cos 30 minus 8 sin 60 where sin term comes outside sin omega t plus plus 15 sin 30 15 sin 30 and 8 cos 60 cos term will outside plus 8 cos 60 cos omega t if you further simplify this one here it becomes a cos phi sin omega t plus a sin phi cos omega t is equal to for sine term the value will be 6.062 sin omega t cos cos 30 minus 60 sin sin cancel excellent next next plus 11.5 cos omega t equating the equations here equating equations you will get a cos phi sin sin cancel it becomes 6.062 next this equation it becomes a sin phi 11.5 degree 
now <coughs> adding and squaring adding and squaring it becomes what a square sin square phi plus cos square phi is nothing but one for this one square and adding you will get squaring and adding these two terms you will get 168.99 and finally the a value will be 12.99 approximately 30 if you go for tan phi tan phi is nothing but sine by cos sine phi by cos phi the value will be 11.5 divided by 6.062 the phi angle will be 62.20 the resultant motion will be the resultant motion x is equal to 13 sine omega t plus 62.20 degree this is the resultant motion now we have to solve the graphical method i am solving the graphical method now solving the graphical method <coughs> Same the graphical method is much easier compared to the identical method. X1 is given 15 sine omega t plus 30. It is already in terms of sine. Second is x2 is nothing but 8 cos omega t plus 60. In order to make the cos in terms of sine, just multi sorry, just add 90 degree. Just add 90 degree. Okay, you have to make this one into sine terms. Just add 90 degree. Sine omega t plus 60 plus 90. 8 sine omega t plus 150 degree. This is go for the scale. 1 is to 2. x1 is nothing but what x1 is 15 30 degree x1 is 15 30 degree go for 30 degree from the ox line 30 degree this 30 degree i have taken the 1 is to 2 15 means what 7.5 7.5 this is the what I will consider this is a1 30 degree and next 8 60 degree 8 60 degree from ox line not is 60 degree sorry we have converted into sign it is 150 degree 150 degree this is 150 but the 8 is there it is nothing but 4 I have taken as a 4 here four because the scale is 8 is nothing but 1 is to 2 we have taken it this is the 4 this is 4 this is 15 this is 15 this is 8 because the scale we have taken 1 is to 2 okay we have to write the 8 now the angle is nothing but 150 degree now how to find the resultant just draw the parallel just draw parallel line with respect to this point parallel line next draw parallel line with respect to because one point is known here Now this is your resultant. If you measure the value, if you measure the value, it will be around <coughs> it is six point 
6.4 it is nothing but exactly 13 13 if you measure it if you measure it it becomes exactly 13 I have got the 6.4 plus 6.4 may have to make a scale here you will get around 12.8 is approximately 13 okay and if you measure the value if you measure the value from the x it will exactly exactly 65 65 now you have to write this is the o dash this is a2 i have taken it okay i have considered this one as a a1 and this is one as a a2 okay this one as a a1 and this one as a a2 the resultant will be a here how to write the resultant here expression for the resultant x is equal to uh, 13 sine omega t plus 65 that's the answer you can go for graphically or analytically what did say our next problem is about very easy next problem is it is very important problem the harmonic motion giving given by the equation is they have given this harmonic motion They have given the resultant, but they have said that determine the two components such that one leads by 30 degree and other lags by 60 degree. This you have to solve by graphical method. There is no analytical method for this one. Graphical method we have to go. Here two components they have given it. X1 is nothing but what? A1 which is unknown. Sin 2t plus 5 but 1 is lead by 30 degree therefore plus 30 x2 a, a2 sin 2t you have to write similar to this one plus 5 minus 60 degree because 1 is lag by 60 degree therefore 1 is we have to take plus 30 1 more is minus 60 now go for the scale <coughs> now we know that only resultant we know <clears throat> we know the resultant here okay we know the resultant that is 6 sin 2t plus 5 we don't know the angle therefore i will approximately take the angle here i will draw a 6 centimeter line this is 6 a is equal to 6 here because the resultant is given here and next this is the phi angle i don't know because phi i don't know now from this one we have to draw the line once you get this one this o x and y x2 is nothing but plus 30 plus 30 plus here plus 30 oh sorry from this side you have to go for 30 degree from the resultant from the resultant you have to draw this is the 30 30 but we don't know the length here just draw the line draw the line similarly from this part 60 degree because it is said that it is lag lag by 60 degree this is 60 but we don't know the length here just draw the line draw the line now move it exactly parallel to this one exactly parallel to this one you will complete this line next 
move exactly parallel to this one over this line this completes your problem this is a this is b and this is i have taken as c if you measure it this is 60 degree lax and this is 30 degree lead here if you measure the values a1 will be 5.2 and a2 will be 3 the final answer for this one is nothing but x1 5.2 5.2 sin 2t plus 5 plus 30 degree x2 3 sin 2t plus 5 minus 60 degree. I am Sandhush Gankar. Thank you very much.